Maybe we should have saved the peanut butter for last. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Hey GQ, I'm Adam Devine, and these are my essentials. I always like to have a hat nearby in case I wake up and my hair's looking foul. These are like in no exact order, but I usually like to have a hat that uh, means something to me. These are my clippers. What's up, Kwai? Welcome to LA. You know, Nebraska, that's where I'm from. This hat was given to me by future president Joe Biden. Am I casting a vote already? No, we'll see. We'll see how he does in the primaries. And he gave it to me when I visited the White House and uh, he was super cool to me. And this hat, I feel like every guy has to have a hat that they work out in. And this is from the movie I did, Game Over Man. Brand X Stunts, which are uh, the cool stunt team. And I like to, I like to get all sweaty in it. The hair girls over there just going, don't put it on your head. Don't put it on your head. I'm a rebel. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I have to have shoes. And my favorite type of shoes are Vans. They're mad comfy, and I like to feel like I might do a kickflip. I've never done one, but I like to feel like if a skateboard is available, I might attempt it. I wore these shoes on my stand-up special, streaming now live on Netflix, Adam Devine's Best Time of Our Lives. These shoes were gifted to me recently, and uh, I haven't worn them yet, but I have like, like probably like 50 pairs of Vans and I, I like to wear them. Plus they're cheap, baby. Save a dollar. Protein is important. Let's admit that, okay? If you wanna keep your chassis tight and you want to build the perfect meat mountain, you have to protein load and that's why I like peanut butter. <laughs> a lot of people are like, oh, that's too fatty. If you eat too much of that, you, you get fat. You be the judge. Yummy. I don't like to liar. Liar? What they put in that peanut butter. I don't like to iron. Every time I have ironed anything, it ends up being more wrinkled. So that's why I like Downey's Wrinkle Release. It just stuff's incredible. You can just boop, 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 boop. On your clothes, give it a little shwink, 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 and it is de-wrinkled. So pick up some of this. I travel a lot, and I always keep this in my bag. You gotta have your toiletries, gang. This is my toiletry bag. It's pretty cool. It has my initials in there. I'll never tell you what P stands for. Patrick. I did. I keep a ton of stuff in here. This Murad uh, shave stuff. A lot of people are like, whoa, dude, you're 35 years old. How do you look so boyish? Uh, the answer is I moisturize. You have to. Or else you just look like a old handbag or something. And then I, you know, you gotta stay deodorized. I keep a comb to keep the locks in all the right places. This is a... Uh, This is sunscreen. I feel like that's important too. You don't wanna have those weird age spots when you're an old person and there's just like a dark spot right here that's turning purple. And then I also have a, a little wrinkle release to go bottle because I'm never far from a wrinkled shirt. And these are my toiletries, gang. You guys have these? I bet you do. Keeps everything nice and tidy. I was gifted this book, The Creative Block. So sometimes when I'm writing, I uh, am just sitting at my desk and the ideas aren't flowing. It's actually really cool. You open it up and there's a bunch of just writing exercises or just something to, to get the creative juices flowing. Hey, your neighbor, get their story. So then you weirdly are talking to your neighbors and like in Hollywood, like people don't talk to each other. So like, oh, what was this weirdo talking to me? I remember him from a Taco Bell commercial or something. I've done a few of those. It's actually really cool. It helps me think of things that I normally wouldn't think to write about. Like spark words, clean up your room. It helps me think about like maybe household chores that I don't like to do and maybe I can write about that. Something that I normally wouldn't want to write about or think that that might be boring and then you find creative outlets to sort of um, explore. Create a block. I don't know about you guys, but I like to keep clean drawers. I always keep a clean batch in my 
travel bag. That way, if I'm ever on the road and I might forget underwear, I always have at least three pairs. Calvin Klein is probably my favorite underwear. Mark Wahlberg has taught me that this is the sexiest pair of underwear to own. It keeps uh, all the, the nuggets packed in nice and tight. I, I, I carry this mostly for this photo, because this is my Fitzbo right here. I'm trying to look like underwear model number three. That was a tight package right there. Someday, I would take off my pants and drop them to my knees and take off my shirt and flex for you guys, but I've got a lot of shaking heads now over there, so we'll keep them on for now. I feel that a good watch is definitely an essential. Come on, guys, class up your game. So I like love watches. I always have one on whenever I'm not shooting something because as a person, I like to be able to tell the time. I just love watches. I think it's so cool that like in the back of this one right here, you can see all the inner workings on the back and I think that's pretty awesome. All these little pieces working together. I always try to pick up a watch when I want to remember something in my life. And this watch right here was my first like nice watch that I bought five or six years ago now. It's an Omega uh, Speedmaster, the Apollo, I want to say the, th the 30th anniversary or 35th anniversary. It is a meteorite face, which is pretty cool. I was on the road doing stand-up, and I found out that my house was broken into and they stole a bunch of my stuff. Kind of bummed about that, and I wanted this watch forever, and I walked past an Omega uh, boutique and saw it in the uh, in the window. I swooped this baby up, and I'm, I'm glad I have it. I don't have any Rolexes because I think they're like, I mean, I think they're super cool, but it's also, uh, they're a little bougie. I like uh, Omegas a lot more. They feel like more of like a working man's nice watch, unless Rolex wants to send me one, in which case I'll take the Batman with the Jubilee bracelet. Thank you. <laughs> Sometimes throughout the day, I get a little sluggish. So I like to have what I call my good, good juice. I'll crack open a sugar-free Red Bull and a LaCroix and mix them together over some ice and that'll jumpstart the rest of the day. I feel like Red Bull is a little too gasoline-y for me, so I like to cut it with a little sparkling water. Am I a bougie bad boy? You bet your ass. When I was shooting Workaholics, maybe like two seasons in, we were doing everything on the show, writing it and acting in it and producing it. And so the days were like 14, 15 hour days. Uh, I needed something to pick me up throughout the day and I didn't want to be a drug addict. So I got, I got this instead. I would say successful pivot. So I noticed like a bunch of guys when they do these videos, they like wear cool guy leather jackets. People want to hit me when I wear a leather jacket. I've noticed like I have a very punchable face and I think when I wear a leather jacket, they're like, oh, this guy thinks he's all tough. I don't, okay? Do not try to pit punch me. I will fall and cry. So I like uh, a nice denim jacket. I feel like Levi specifically just fits me really nicely. Like sometimes you get like these really fashion forward brands and you go to put on the denim jacket and you like can't move your arms. I'm a beefy boy. I like to say I'm a lat guy living in an ab guy world and this denim jacket fits these lats. Muy perfecto. And I speak other languages. I have my AirPods, I love them. Not because I necessarily like love music. I do love music, I'm not a psychopath. But I also like to put them in and be like, I'm sorry, I can't, I am on the, f I can't actually talk right now. So that's why I like my, my AirPods so much. <laughs> You guys know where to buy these. This is an essential for me. I travel all the time, I'm all over the place doing stand up and having to travel to do press for movies and TV shows that I'm doing. So I like to have something that I could carry on and something that's um, super uh, compact. So I like this away suitcase that I have. It's not pink, it is orange. I did something for the NBA awards and they gave me this as a gift, which is super cool. And it is supposed to be a basketball. It's an away brand, which I didn't know was like a brand for a while. I thought it was like a play on like home team, away team. So <laughs> until my girlfriend's like, no, that's a, like a very popular suitcase luggage brand. Uh, you can charge your phone on it, which TSA, oh, they love that. They love that. And they never ask you to take the battery out. Pick one up, they're pretty cool. shoots his scores.
Thank you so much, GQ, for having me. It's been fun. I'm Adam Devine, and these are my essentials.